Hi everyone. Just before in the video we discussed regarding the atrial supply of the heart. So in this video we will be discussing regarding the venous drainage of the heart. So I will be drawing the veins as usually and later I will be labeling the names. There are generally five, 3 to 5 veins that finally drain into sinus called as coronary sinus. So uh, just make an imagination that here there is presence of right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle as well as the left ventricle. In the right atrium, at this location, so okay, I will mark it with, right? at this location in the right atrium nearly, this part there is small sinus, sinus in the sense a, a narrow depression or a shallow, shallow shaped depression is called as sinus. So this sinus is called as coronary sinus. So the veins of the heart will be draining directly into coronary sinus. I will be labeling the name next. So generally there are three veins, one vein that starts here, passes upwards anteriorly and next it deviates towards the left part of the heart and then it flips around the posterior, on the posterior surface of the heart and passes posteriorly back in this fashion. and finally drains into the coronary sinus. So this vein is very large, right? So this vein we name it as greater cardiac vein, right? So when there is greater cardiac vein, there must also be smaller cardiac vein, right? So before we enter into smaller cardiac vein, we will be discussing the intermediate cardiac vein or, or we also call it as middle cardiac vein. The middle cardiac vein starts from here but on the posterior side, not on the anterior side, not on the anterior surface of the heart, but on the posterior surface of the heart. From the posterior surface of the heart, the cardiac vein, the smallest cardiac vein from the apex of the heart, it draws all the blood and finally drains into the coronary sinus. So this is called the small cardiac vein. And the, oh sorry, this is called the middle cardiac vein and this is called the greater cardiac vein. And next, in opposite to the greater cardiac vein, there must be smaller cardiac vein. The smaller cardiac vein from this point it passes anteriorly upward towards the right part of the heart and flips backwards posteriorly. It loops posteriorly on the posterior surface of the heart and again it passes forward and finally drains into the coronary sinus. So these are the three major veins of the heart that drain all the blood into the coronary sinus. So generally where the exactly the way the blood is drained of the, the blood of the heart where it is exactly drained finally it is drained into coronary sinus. The question is that where is the coronary sinus present? The coronary sinus is present in the right atrium. So three cardiac veins this is the greater cardiac vein and this is the middle cardiac vein and this is the smallest cardiac vein and there are two more veins two more veins one vein is called as oblique vein of the right atrium uh, I'm sorry oblique vein of the left atrium so this is the left atrium right and this is the right atrium from the left atrium it passes obliquely downwards and finally it drains into the coronary sinus so this is called as oblique vein of the left atrium because it is starting from the left atrium, right? And one more vein called as posterior vein of left ventricle. What is posterior vein of left ventricle? This is the left ventricle, right? This is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle. So we got one point and we need to know posterior. So from the posterior side, from the posterior side and mainly from the left ventricle region, on the posterior side comes upwards like this and finally drains into the coronary sinus. So a quick review, what are the veins that are draining into the coronary sinus? First of all there are three major veins. This vein that first passes anteriorly upwards, flips towards the right side or deviates towards the right side 
and next it loops on the posterior from the posterior surface it goes passes back to the posterior surface of the heart and finally draining into the coronary sinus this is called as the greatest cardiac vein or the greater cardiac vein and next this part that initially originates at the posterior part posterior side of the surface of the heart and passes upwards and directly without any deviations it drains into the coronary sinus this is called as middle cardiac vein and this one is called as the smallest cardiac vein and next there are two more veins oblique vein of left atrium from the left atrium on the anterior surface of the heart it passes obliquely and then it drains into coronary sinus this is oblique vein of left atrium start because it is starting from left atrium and it is passing obliquely next posterior vein of left ventricle this is the left ventricle and this is the vein passing posteriorly so it is called posterior vein of the left ventricle it passes upwards and directly drains into the coronary sinus now we will be labeling the names of this this vein is called greater cardiac vein greater cardiac vein and this is smaller cardiac vein right and next this oh sorry this vein that that is taking blood from the apex of the heart not not exactly apex but slightly away from the apex of the heart slightly lateral to the apex of the heart this vein is called middle cardiac vein middle cardiac vein next the main three veins are finished the two accessory veins that is passing from the left atrium started from the left atrium passing downwards and then finally draining into the coronary sinus this vein is called as i'll write the name of this later oblique vein of left atrium and this vein posterior vein of left ventricle you better write the name posterior vein of left ventricle so this is the venous drainage and the arterial supply for the heart so this is the end of the vessels of the heart the next video will be uh, regarding the cardiac cycle thank you